welcome to the Dave and Just Joe show. That's right. <laughs> we're we're going to be doing stuff. Isn't it the Just Joe and Dave show? No, it's Dave and Just Joe show. Okay, we're, anywho. We're we did? Yeah. Okay, super. So so this this is our first little thing that we're doing with, with stuff, and we've got awesome interviews that we did. We got live music. Yeah, live music. Uh, other, oh, other fun stuff. What? And we got a chainsaw joke. We got a chainsaw, high five chainsaw joke. High five chainsaw joke. All right, so first, we're going to hear stuff from Children of the New Sun. This is live stuff. It is? Oh, yeah, it's the end. But, no, 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 this, this is the beginning. We're just starting. No, the song that they're going to be playing is called the end. I know this is the beginning. Why is it at the beginning?
guys, yeah. <laughs> okay, super. So, uh, so you are? Mike. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. You are what? Mike. Okay, hi, Mike. Uh, where are you from? Like, like, music-wise. Music-wise? A band called Try, Fail, Repeat. And how are they? They're good. Except for the singer. He sucks. Who's the singer? Me, that was, that was the joke. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's really funny. <laughs> you said you suck. Wait, but you don't. No, I don't. I'm okay. Yeah, that, that microphone doesn't seem to work that well. Oh, I'm sorry, I have it upside down. There, that's much better. Uh, yes, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Okay, um, so, so you, well, your tri fail repeat? Yes. Okay, the and whole band. That's All what, of me, right here. Uh, and that, that's what I've heard. Amps, guitars, drum set, everything. Um, so how long have you been tri fail repeat? Oh, I've been around for like two years. Yeah? Yeah. That's, the, that's why I said that. <laughs> okay. Um, so, do you want a hug? No. Yes. Uh, you. What was the proper answer there? There's, there's no answer that wasn't going to end in a hug, right? Just, no, there's no answer that wasn't end in a hug. <laughs>
repeat from the haunt. So hey, guess what? What? Next up is going to be a clip from you. From me? Yep, it is going to be your first appearance on the Metallic Onslaught. Yes! On the Metallic Onslaught. Yeah. It, it was, it <laughs> it's was so arrived. much fun up there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, where you go? Oh, my belly's everywhere! Oh, my belly! Look at my belly! Look at my belly! Oh, 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 my no, I'm not looking at all. Rick, look at this! No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you like that, didn't you? I loved it. Yeah, that was, that was, that was awesome. You know, they, they all had a really great time there, too, with you running around half naked and showing your belly. Belly! Now, speaking of you running around half naked and showing your belly, didn't, uh, if I remember, didn't that get you quite the hefty fan base? You, you, you know, you know, from, from Texas? On a guy's site about guys who like other bad guys. Shut up, Joe. Here's Fledge Like Death. <laughs> which is every Friday from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. on WEOS in Geneva. I'm going to here to interview the main host, Joe, who's been hosting for about 50 years. So you got to expect, in his about 65 years of hosting, he sees some pretty crazy stuff going on here, pretty crazy guests and bands. Oh, here he is now. So how does it feel like to be hosting this show for 85 years? What? Are yeah. you what the hell is wrong with years? you? Oh! 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 Hey, wait, oh, I got something for you, buddy. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Oh. 
I could try Josh from the Talic Onslaught. It's fairly new, but I still I could try and get some information from him. Oh hey, what's up, Wolfie? Have gone. Here comes Josh now. So, Josh, what's it like working with really old Joe?
interview Rick. I don't want to interview Rick. Hey, you're you're supposed to. Interview this isn't Rick. my show. I don't. don't I'm not on Metallica. Don't, don't, don't garbage. garbage. You, you just. He's gonna be, eat me. He's not gonna. Eat I don't want to be it'll eaten. Be fine. No, it won't. Yes, it will. It's just Rick. Rick likes you. It'll be good. <sighs> just go, here he comes. Here he comes. Just go talk to him. So, Rick, um, how long have you been hosting Metallica? Oh God. Shop Monkeys was from their supposed last show ever. <laughs> How many of those have they had now? Like 30. I I, I, I don't really know. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. I think they'll have another last show in the next month or two. Oh, probably. Yeah, yeah any day now. But, uh, you know, I always knew that uh, you were full of stuff in there, Dave. Uh, if you want to play those games, Joe, I got a clip for you from the Metallic Onslaught. Watch this. <laughs> No! Oh. <laughs> See what happens? He just killed me. Joe just killed Joe! <laughs> That's your Joe Violet, man. No, 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 no. He's dead, Jim! <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't remember that ever happening. Well, there's probably a reason for that, Joe. Alright, this next tip we got is from Psyche Corporation. She's at the haunt. This is Medicine Man. What else happened?
Evo Spice. Hi! Hi! So you do stuff? I do lots of stuff. What do you do? I do comedy rap. How's that going for you? Uh, how do you think it's going for me? I'm asking the questions here. Yeah, well, it just... It, how do you think it... How, how do you think it is to market a comedy rap act? I'm sure it's very easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's actually going pretty well. Um, I basically owned the Dr. Demento show in 2007. I had the number one most requested song of the year, number two most requested song of the year, number four most requested song of the year, and I was featured on song number five. Congratulations. So I, yeah, I, I owned Dr. Demento. I, I thought and, that was uh, Sudden Death. It was Sudden Death. I used to be, I used to perform under the fake group name Sudden Death. Like your hat says. Like my hat says, yes. I haven't made a new hat yet. I will eventually. Hopefully soon. And uh, I finally, I got sick of explaining to people that Sudden Death is kind of a one-man band because they book Sudden Death and then this one guy shows up and they're like, where's the rest of the band? And I'm like, I am the rest of the band. It's my computer and stuff like that. And I got sick of explaining that to people. And then there was also the issue of, there's other bands called Sudden Death, one of whom is a fan of mine, apparently. There's this death metal band from Florida. Are they also one person? Really likes my stuff. No, they're a five-piece death metal band. If I'm not mistaken, that band once hit Joe with a bus. Really? Yes. Oh, yeah. They did hit me with a bus. Or was it you that hit me that, with a bus? That explains some things. <laughs> did you hit me with a bus? No, I don't have a bus. Okay, then it was the other you that hit me with a bus. Okay. Yeah, I, I there were there was like this big argument on on the iTunes. Thanks comments. for bringing up the fact that I was hit by a bus. <laughs> There's this big argument on iTunes about over the comments of one of my songs as to whether I was the same band that did this other song and it was the death metal band. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time to drop the name. So uh, last fall, I finally gave it the old Evo and. Uh, Basically, anything that I released on the Fump since I released Fatal Era, the last Sudden Death album, has been rebranded as a Devo Spice song, and then everything from here on out is going to be Devo Spice. Okay. And what's the Fump? The Fump is the Funny Music Project. It's this uh, big group organization thing of a bunch of comedy artists who release funny songs on thefump.com uh, twice a week. Where can you get to thefump.com? On the computer at thefump.com. T-H-E-F-U-M-P dot com. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's free songs twice a week. And uh, we have higher quality songs you can download, and then every two months we put out a, 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 a compilation CD which you can buy. And then we have subscriptions because people like giving us money in for this stuff. So. All right. Anything else people should know? Uh, check, find me on the web, devospice.com. And for up-to-the-minute information as to what I'm doing, you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash devospice. Find out what I had for dinner. It's really interesting stuff. Uh, I have another question. Yes. Can I have a hug? Sure. Ah! You're gonna kill me. <laughs>
chick because they have sex with sorority chicks. She just be naked all the time. Cause it's fine if I can't remember a line. Harry Potter was okay, but someday I wanna see the version with all the perversion. There can be the rock is disemboweled in Hermione strips and Hagrid dresses like a Catholic schoolgirl with whips. Call me, you'll call me through it all. I'm never satiated. I'm a snow white, topless in the seventh door, decapitated, irritated when the movie misses a chance to rip off someone's head or rip off someone's pants. So if your story sucks and your director can't direct your shit, at least find a chick who will whip out a tent. And if you go to a show and see me doing this song, take off your t-shirt and sing along. What you want in the movie? What you need in the movie? What you see in the movie? If it's floors worth sticking to. And you are? TJ. From? 13 South. And you do? Bass. Debating. I like your hair. <laughs> Bass debating. Bass debating. Oh, I hear you have a, a, a scratching problem. Yeah, what's going on with the itching? What's, what's up with your itchy parts? Uh, well, as you can see from my face, zoom. I, I scratch a lot. Hand away! We gotta zoom! Okay. Okay, I zoomed. Alright, and, <laughs> and when it's something itches, I scratch it really hard, and then once the itch is gone, the, it, the scratching still feels good. I keep scratching. So is it just on your face? No. Does it, does it go on here? Elaborate. I've definitely broken the skin on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's right there. <laughs> yeah, the balls on my ankle. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. How, how does that feel? Oh, baby. Do you definitely recommend that to other people? Does it scare them over? <laughs> Ew, no. How about you? Do you scratch? No, I don't scratch. At all? I bite. Any, okay, okay, so, so, so seeing as how you guys are part of a band, how long have you guys been part of a band? Or at least the same band that you are right now? And, um, well, we started probably... <laughs> um... You took my microphone! <laughs> we started, like, we really kind of started, like... You're yeah, getting you know. everybody together? Well... Originally, like, mid-2007, late-2007, we started practicing in Cortland. We had a different drummer and a different second guitarist then, and then um, they both kind of flaked. And then, so, got a new drummer, and then a new second guitar player, and now that drummer quit, and now we got a new drummer again. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, nothing really got started until about early 2008. So yeah, about a year and a half. We didn't start playing the shows until December of 08. Yep. And because our drummer Mike at the time had injured his shoulder, so he kind of was out of commission for like about three or four months, I'd say. And then, um, but yeah. Anything you'd like to add to that? Okay, great. So your drummer only has nine fingers? Yes. It was stolen by an Eskimo prostitute. That's awesome. He does does that make it difficult for him to play drums out of his nose? <laughs> it doesn't seem to be. Good. So he doesn't have any problems shoving the drumsticks up there with only nine fingers? No. Okay. I don't know where he shoves his nub. <laughs> really? <laughs> nice. <laughs>
South. That was 13 South, yes. Yeah, so, uh, you know what? What? You know what we do at the last exit very, very well? What's that? We break records on you. What? Oh, that's a fan. So here is Zadok and Nightmare at the Haunt with Save Your Tears. Skull Save Your Tears. This will be real quick, then you can have it. No, no, it'll be fun. Check this out. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> anybody else? Yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do something like for the last exit for the lost. You have never heard us do a song like this. You will probably never do one again because I don't know if I can even do this one. But this is for you. Oh, yes. I hope you like it. This is completely walking out.
We're us. We're us. Hi. You're uh, oh, mo mo the, most of a band? Most, or, most, well, the core. The, we're the core. The core. The core. We're the core. We're polyethylene. Polyethylene. That is What's correct. What's the worst anyone's mispronounced your name? We get polyurethane. Uh, poly uh, what else have we poly got? Poly polypropylene, polystyrene. polystyrene. Yeah. Uh, and then we just get, usually it's more like, and then they just stop. Seem like I like all. Yeah, some chemical thing. Yeah. How long have you been a band? Since 2001. Really that long? Yep. Yeah. So what was our first show? You guys started playing together in 2000. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I think our first show was 2002, yeah. early 2002. It was early. It was real early. Yeah. 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 In 2000. Yeah. So yeah, it's been like seven years. Yeah. God. Don't have the itch yet. Which is Where are you here from? Boston. Boston. Sort of. We, were we live in Wakefield, and he lives in Peabody. Peabody. Which is they're all within like 10 minutes of Boston. Peabody. Peabody. <laughs>
Thank you. That was polyurethane. No, no, no. no. Polyethylene. Oh, poly... poly polyethylene. Polyethylene. Polyethylene, yeah. Polyethylene. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I've noticed from watching back on these interviews that I'm usually the one doing them. Is that because you suck? Hey, got another clip for you. Remember when EVD threw in all those mouse traps? How bad I remember. In one hole! Friday night. See your face. Four! Four! Ready, one, two, three, four! Ah! 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 I'm starting to hate you too. Sorry. Anyway, moving on. Here's New Animal. New Animal! New Animal! New Animal! New Animal! <laughs> I love Jonah! <laughs> New
apples as you do. Now what do I do? Hi! Why, hi, Joe, with the last exit for the Lost. Why, hello, Shoebox of Worm Quartet. So what's it like being on the last exit for the Lost? Abusive and hurtful? Right, okay. What's it like being on stage performing music and other stuff? It's kind of moist and warm. Is that it? They make me yell things. All right, good. If I just stand there and don't do anything, they're all there's just like just all these people that are just like staring at me like I don't know what they expect of me. But then, then I sing songs. And they stop staring? No. Well, some of them do. Some of them throw things. Some of them go away. Oh, all right then. So, so you're you. That's true. No. So your mullet was your most significant feature. What happened to it? Was? It's still there. It's just, it's just, there's some more stuff here. I, I, I've decided to get rid of the mullet, and I've decided to do it the long way. So I'm growing out the sides until they catch up to it. And in another couple of months, it's just going to pounce and overtake it and consume it with, with, with within it, its, its. Um, see, I can fit it in my mouth now. I've never been able to do this before. So that's the first time ever it's been caught on camera. Okay. Th thank, thank you for sharing the, that first time moment I, with us. I didn't answer your question. No, you didn't. So next question, what's going to happen to all your mullet-related songs now that you're growing other than your mullet? They'll sound very, very dumb. You just put off the, the, the wind thing that protects the microphone from being... I would like more information, please, about Baldbox. I will now give you more information about Baldbox. Thank you. Please prepare for more information about Baldbox. I'm preparing. I await your preparations. Preparations complete. Excellent. Bald Box is a project which was done. Yes. I talked to this guy named Rob Balder who exists and does a thing called Parsley Clips and that Parsley Clips and this thing called Earth World and this thing called The Fump. Hey, the funny music project, which I am also a part of. And and we talk online and we decided at one point that maybe we should get together and actually, you know, try to record an album over a weekend, because why the hell not? And we didn't have time to do that, but we somehow did have time to do that, so I lied about that. And we got together and recorded an album. We conceived and recorded an entire album over the span of a weekend. And the end result exists on a round thing, which you can purchase. It's called Bald Box, the dumb album. And it exists. Some of it's funny. Most of it is very, very stupid. By recording it over a weekend, we have an excuse for that. Because it was recorded over a weekend? Yes. What else was it recorded over? The Bee Gees. All right, this next one is my Art Rock song. It's my Art, art Rock song because it doesn't make any goddamn sense and I sing it with a weird accent. It's called The Water Medicine. Yes, we have a dance set.
interview either, were you, Dave? You know what else I couldn't help but notice? You didn't go through that board, did you, Joe? What board? No! Oh, all right. Oh, God! <laughs> Uh-oh. Crucifix! Joe. And... Oh, oh, my goodness! And the board didn't even break. <laughs> <laughs> I got a great idea! <laughs> Let's see that in slow motion! <laughs> So this next band, they're really young. They're called Stormer. This is a show they did up at Red Creek.
Hi. Hi. How are you? That's good. All right. All right. So, so your name is? My name is Seth Vergolzia. And you're from? The world. Awesome. Are you doofus? I am of doofus. Okay, you're of doofus? Yes. Okay. I take part in it. I'll Excellent. Are, are, are you the main member of doofus? That could be said. Although I try to avoid such... Do I have to keep talking when I... No. <laughs> Do you want to keep talking? Not if I can't finish the sentence. Okay. Then it's okay to stop. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. So wh wh where do you get things in your head that make you put into music? Uh, life experiences. Sometimes I... Uh, yeah, maybe... I wouldn't call it fast forward, but I definitely dip in to the subconscious. Sometimes dreams. I'll uh, dream a song or something, or the beginning of a song, wake up and finish it off while I'm still not totally conscious. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. It feels the most natural. <laughs> how, how many uh, albums do you have as Doofus and as your, as your solo stuff? I think it's like 15 or 17. How long have you been doing this? Since uh, the first album, first uh, like official CD was 95. Although there is, I, I went by the name Rufus for a little while, and uh, there are two cassette releases that I haven't re-released since back then before I changed to Doofus, so that would have been 95 or 96 as well. Can, um, can, can I put your beard? <laughs> Thank you.
you weren't there for either. You know what? I think we're going to change the pace a little bit. Let's take a look at some clips of some times that we've tried to introduce bands for the last six of shows. Tried? Those went really, really well. You know what? You're right. Let's show awesome clips. Yeah, we kicked ass at that. You know we did. Of us introducing bands at our own shows. That's right. Let's go. I love New Animal! I love New Animal! I
Yep. W watching back, those those kind of sucked. Yeah, we do kind of suck. Hey, do you remember when Super Dave came and did some introductions? Who's Super Dave? <laughs> find somebody that looks exactly like me. Hey, here's a check engine at the haunt with the truth.
question for you. What? Can you put that away? Yeah. That's what I was doing. Was that your question? No. no. Well, yes, but no. How come all of the clips have had horrible, bad stuff happening to me? Not all bad. Well, there hasn't been a good one in the bunch. It was the one where Dave got the records broken over his head. Oh, the one's about me. Oh. Bad stuff what happens. What the hell? What bad stuff happens to you? Wait, I got one that it's not bad. Remember the Russian roulette show where we played all random music and there were bullets and you had to pull things from a hat to see what happened? Kind of. Okay, watch. Okay. Oh. Oh, my ear! Dude! Oh! <laughs> There was that one part where you dragged Brian in the snow with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah okay. While, while you're you. here, have you done the Al Snow thing yet? You totally forgot about the Al Snow interview, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, we, uh, this, this is, for anyone who doesn't know who Al Snow is, he was a professional wrestler and he wrestled for the WWE and ECW and everyone. And uh, Joe from the Metallic Console and I interviewed him. Just not me. Not you. Okay. No. And it's, it's a lengthy interview, so we're going to play you a clip if you like it. Uh, click the button as it says, you can watch the whole 35 minute interview, and if not, well, it'll move on on its own. And uh, I found Starfall in the backstage area of ECW Arena, and uh, was trying different things. I was reading a book on abnormal psychology at the time, there was a case that was similar in some ways, and uh, not that they talked to, a lady didn't talk to uh, Starfall Med, but she had transfers to some Apparently, schizophrenia, and she transferred the problem onto inanimate objects. She heard the voice of other things, and so I thought I would do that. And then one time, uh, you have a sack of fluid around your heart, and uh, uh, from the impact of uh, somebody land, uh, one of the guys landing on me night after night after night, about I think ten times in a row, ten nights in a row, or whatever, I went home and. I could lean to the side and you could hear my heart clicking against the inside of my rib cage for about four or five days. <laughs> you know, one time it made me believe that I was a part of a uh, hit and run and a murder. And uh, that, you know, for two weeks, thought, you know, tried to see if I would stooge the guy off, torturing him. Uh, time they do me a birthday party, that was, you know, at 18 years old, I would, you know, if anything, did, anything moved, I would nail it. You know, so I'd walk into a room and a fish tank, would, and fish would stop swimming because they were like, I'm thinking I'm gonna screw them or something. And, you know, it was a big practical joke to get the one of the a girl to come up, approach you, talk you up, take you up to the hotel room, get you naked, and then big giant husband guy kicks the door in with a gun, and then you go run screaming out and down the hallway. And you know, I made it down the stairs and was out in the parking lot naked before they stopped us. So that, that was 
That was Al. He's. It, He's was, Al. So, it was something. It was something. Yes. It, uh, anyway, uh, why don't we go to Warblade? Okay. Have you played Warblade yet? No. no, no, no. All right. Yeah, so so let's go to Warblade. Here's Warblade from the Haunt.
Banana Man from Castle Bravo, which will be on their new CD. That sure will. And you know, we at The Last Exit like to challenge bands with creative questions that we pull off of a website called TheInsaneDomain.com. And uh, one of those questions, what if there's an evil picnic basket and the only way to stop it is to sing a song about it? Sometimes bands actually create a song, such as uh, we had members of If Man Is Five, Check Engine, and New Animal. New Animal! New Animal! New Animal! <laughs> New Animal! <laughs> New Animal! New Animal! Anyways, here it is. <laughs> New Animal! <laughs> it's an evil picnic basket. It's an instrumental. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing.
consequence if the picking basket didn't go away? You'd have to deal with Dave. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> I'm, I'm over here! I get it. Good the job, guys. Food, I appreciate all your work. Right. right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he's going to sit on Tim's lap. <laughs> It was his keys, but that scared It's kind of like a horror movie. <laughs> Part of the basket. I'm going to move made. over here. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I so we're going to hear, we're going to hear something for Lauren. I'm hear them here, but this I'm going to play it for him. This is a song called Mantis, against him. and it's crazy. And uh, 273 2121, if you want to hear anything, www.thelastdays.com.
instruments do you use in one one show? Dan 17. plays the jazz trombone. Exactly 17. 17? At, at, at any given moment, 17. And if one gets are added, playing. then we actually have to have a, a, a ritual a rim shot of another one. So luckily, we figured out how to retroactively remove one. So if somebody plays one too many instruments and toward the end of the set, we can just remove one that we used from the beginning of the set. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I got knocked out on stage once, but actually it was... It was, it was by Dan. Was by, yeah, Dan once <laughs> hit me in the head so hard with the end of his with the end of his bass that I lost an entire verse of a song, got up and started singing, and I was singing verse one, and they were on verse two, and I was like, what the hell, man? Why did these guys skip verse one? And I was like, the salty stuff in my mouth, and I was like, this is like a line of blood trickling down the white face. And I was, like, was it really an accident? Hey, there are things. Let's investigate that. <laughs> yeah. Shall we? Dan, thought this is my chance to strange. brain this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> We're sick, and we won't get any better. And we're willing to trade for it. We're willing to trade our sickness for, um, we're hoping to be, we're hoping to get, we're hoping to Get a, get a job at the beach, working with film students.
to the David Just Joe Show. And now, for the highlight of our show, the Chainsaw Juggler! You only brought one chainsaw? You're gonna jump <laughs> He was a good friend of mine And how did you learn to kiss like that? Said the man to his German shepherd It's not polite to talk when your mouth is full of big bumblebees But it's quite okay to love your mom As long as you don't get her pregnant Everybody! na 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 there's something wrong with this song. I ain't Oscar Mayer, but I'll give you my baloney. Cross my heart, yes. Stick a finger in my eye, no. But wife, I'm telling the truth. I've slept with your sister, your mom, and your dad. And the second best sex was you. Oh, rub it up, dub three men in a tub. Need I say more? Jack Spratt could eat no fat, so he divorced her. Everybody! I know that there's something wrong with this song. I just don't know what it could be. I know that there's something wrong with this song. I just don't know what it could be. This song is an Italian love ballad written entirely in Swahili and tongues. Which celebrates the much famed Genoan romanticism of the early 17th century postmaster general. But it also delves pretty deeply into the pre-proletariat rise of the Venetian stamp collecting regime under Benito Mussolini. And I think it was a great Greek philosopher, hysterectomy, who said, to be perfectly honest, I'm lying. Whatever happened to the chainsaw juggler? He was a good friend of mine. I heard he died, but nobody cried. Instead, they all chopped off their arms. <laughs> oh well, who went in Rome? Non compos mentis, persona non grata, in vino veritas ad hoc. Oh. E blerbus unum, if two air is human, then boy am I glad we're in charge. Oh, a Buddhist, a Muslim, a nun, and a Jew, we're stuck in a hot air balloon. It suddenly popped, the league praise it dropped, it proves that God hates us all! Everybody! Na 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 he shouted down to the angry villagers far below. He said, You may have won the battle, but I'm... I'm out of ammunition. He said, Life isn't a bowl of cherries. It's... It's... Okay, maybe it is. He said, It's not the size that counts. It's the woman that counts the size. He said, You can't sue yourself for writing an unauthorized autobiography. He said, If at first you don't succeed... Well, then maybe you're a goddamn loser. He said it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether I win or lose. He said don't throw the baby out with the bathwater unless it's floating face down. He said if you can't beat him, let me beat him. He said you can tell a lot about a man by how he <laughs> strangles you. And lastly, he said, fight for peace. Make love, not war. Unless you love to kill. Right. And as they stormed the mountain and kicked him to death, he said one more thing. He said, Ow! Oh, oh, kicking me! Oh, 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 kicking oh, the head out! Oh, 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 not there! Oh, 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 Stop it! Oh, not the face! Oh, oh, kicking me! Oh, your shoes have oh, spikes oh, on them! Oh, not the oh, testicles! Oh, and as the Martian sat and waved from his driver's seat window of his hovering Martian spaceship on his way back to Jupiter, he offered these parting words of advice. He said, Do yourself a favor and stop this goddamn song! But we couldn't. Because we still didn't know! Whatever happened to the chainsaw juggler, he was a good friend of mine. I heard he died, but nobody cried. Instead, they all chopped off their arms. Well, that sure makes sense. He was loved by his fans. But tell me, how did he die? Nobody knows. They found him alone, all bloody with his arms by his side. I 
know that there's something wrong with this song. I just don't know what it could be. Na 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 There's something wrong with this. Something wrong with this. Something wrong with this. There's something wrong with this. There's something wrong with this. Silver. Evidently there is, and you're to blame. Now fix it. Okay, I'll go ahead and fix it right now. Oh, frog and argo. Albert, Albert, come back here. Why the slide whistle is not oh, funny? Don't What's do it. Four, five, six, seven, seven, you turn it off. What is your fail? Major malfunction. Brooklyn. Numb nuts. Do not want. Jugular. Fourpostman.com. Something wrong. Man, you guys really gotta work on that ending.